Hey Sam here, welcome to this demo of Crazy Carver. This is a cloud-based app that allows you to be able to carry out a lot of design work on your own. This means you don't have to hire designers, you don't have to uh, pay for expensive software. All included in the front end of this is everything you need to be able to create social media banners, web banners, uh, merchandise, so such as t-shirts and things, uh, and other t-shirts, uh, flyers, ebook covers, all sorts of different stuff, or even your own custom creations. Now this makes it super, super simple because it's done from template. Now, because the servers are actually being upgraded, I'm unable to be able to do a demo for you here today. But I've been playing around with it the last few days preparing for the demo, and I can tell you it's a very simple and easy to use software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the product creator on to give you a full walkthrough and give you a demonstration on how you can use the software to do all your own design work. Hey guys, got over here. And in this video, I'm going to show you a quick demo of how we can create amazing graphics using Crazy Color. You can create social media banners, web banners, book covers, t-shirt designs and a lot of other things. So usually on all my launches, I upload a Facebook cover into my profile, which uh, usually look like this. So I'm going to use a similar cover for my latest launch, Crazy Color. So let's get started. So first I will uh, select social media, Facebook, Facebook cover. So this is the editor. You can see on the left hand side that there are a lot of things you can do here. You can create YouTube covers, you can create Facebook, Twitter covers, Google Plus, Pinterest, and you have web panels. These all these different sizes of web panels, business cards, book covers. We are creating a Facebook cover, so I will select this. And we also have a lot of templates out there. These are the templates that you get already get inside this software and uh, you just need to select them and you can start you can just edit them according to your needs and start using them right away. However, for this example, I'm going to create a Facebook cover from scratch and I will show you how to do that. So this is if you are using a template which is already there, but we are going to do it from scratch. So first we need a background and we can change the template color here. Maybe I want it black because uh, I like black and then we can select for backgrounds here. I want something on social media. I like this one. So like once it's added, we can also change the opacity and make it transparent. For I choose the opacity and I will make it transparent. No, just the way I like it and now I want this to be some other color so I'm going to select shapes I will add a rectangle here okay, and maybe I'll make it blue okay I've used this color on my JV page so I'm going to use the same color so this looks nice to me and the next thing is we need a logo at the top so i'm going to import my logo and i'm also going to import import my product images in case i need them and we are going to need them so we have the logo here and again we can also zoom in and zoom out to see if it looks how does it look so i'm going to use add the logo of crazy club over here then i'm going to use uh, my product cover okay i like it this way and then what i need to do next is add my jv page here so uh, maybe i'll see if i can find some arts or design elements which are already there that i can use this looks fine this looks also fine so i'm just going to use this and we can change the color by selecting it so we can make it any color but at the all but we also have a color picker so if you want to make it make the color like the K in crazy color, it will make it K like crazy color. But I want it to be black, so I am going to make it black for now. Okay, next thing I need to do is to add my JV page. So there are tons of fonts in terms of cat in a lot of categories and if you already have some font you can just select here and if it's still you will find it here 
I actually like this font, so I'm going to use this. First, I'll make it white. Uh, I think I'll make it yellow. Okay, this profits. This fits perfectly. So here goes my CPU page. Next thing I need is uh, what does my software do? So I'm just going to go and copy it from my JVP. So I'm going to add another text here. So let's see which font I will like. This is pretty simple and quite. Cool. I can also, there are a lot of other options that we can do with here. I can align it to left, right, but I want to make it center align. So just in one click, I can do that. Next thing I need is uh, my date and time where I'm going live. Let's see if we can make it 22. So next thing is we need the time, date and time when this is going live. So I'm just going to copy the same element we I had. Okay, there is it. Change the color. Now I want to use the color of this background. So I'm just going to use the picker and select this. And uh, I don't exactly like it. I'll just increase the brightness. So the next thing we need to add is when we are going live. So I'm just going to copy this text, you know, make it duplicate. Add it here. And just write when we are going live. We Go live on the 7th of March. At 10 a.m. EST. We will also like to add the day, Tuesday. I will change the font size to 20 and it fits perfectly. Then again, I also want the image of mine here. So I'm going to go there, import my image. Okay, so I still have some uh, space left here, so I'm just going to add a few more JV details. Uh, again, I'm just going to duplicate this. And go to something else. I think I like this color and so this is the banner I created now I can just save it with the save button here and so my banner is ready to download and start using it on my Facebook profile okay so I just need to change one thing here okay and now it's ready to download and 
I just need to click this button here and I can download it right away. So it got downloaded to my laptop. Here is the banner and I'm just going to update this on my Facebook page in some time. So I really hope that you liked the demo video and looking forward to see you inside. Thank you.